today's video, I want to share how to change the sidebar on your WordPress website. By default on most websites, uh, WordPress themes, you're given one sidebar and it's the same sidebar you have for your entire site. So for instance, this website on, on every page, you have the same stuff appearing on every page, no matter if it's a blog post, no matter if it's a page, you get the same exact stuff in your sidebar. But you may want to change it if you have, um, let's say, a category that's recipes. You have a whole recipe section on your site. You may want to put different things in the sidebar that promote um, things related to food. Or if you have an about page, you probably don't want your uh, blog category pages or archives to appear on that, but maybe um, something else there. So um, I'll show you two plugins that you can change your sidebar and customize it for different pages of your site. So the first one I wanted to show you is called Custom Sidebars. So if you go to your plugin section and add new, and type in custom sidebars. And this is, um, the author is WPMU Dev. There's a few of them out there. So if you look for that author, that's the one that we're working with. So if you activate that sidebar, and now if you go to your appearance, there's a new um, menu here called custom sidebars. So we'll go there, and I wanna add a new sidebar and call it page. So this, so this sidebar, is for all my pages. Now I'm gonna create that sidebar. Now um, what I wanna do is replace the default sidebar. So I'm just gonna select it here. And on this theme, there's a few other sidebars, but it's the default sidebar that's the main one. So I click Save here. And now if I go to my widgets area, Add something here. I'll put, I already created this at one point. It's just a text widget that says, um, this is my page widget. So I wanna save that. Okay, and now if we go back to the custom sidebars and we go into the default sidebars tab so I want this sidebar to now appear only on my pages. So we go to the post type, click on pages, and you'll see in the drop down there's a whole bunch of different sidebars. So I want it to be a page. So I click save here. And now when I go back to my website, so I refresh the site, and so like expected I see the the default sidebar on the side, but if I go to a sample page, now I only see a sidebar with that widget that I inserted into that. So that's one um, plugin that you can use that's really useful. Now the second one that I've worked with a lot is called Widget Ninja. And Widget Ninja is a paid plugin that I'll, I'll give you the link for. And I think it's only maybe 30 bucks or something. And um, it works in an interesting way. It works, um, I'll, let me show you. So if you go to plugins, and I'm gonna search for Widget Ninja. And activate it. So because of this is a, a plugin that you need to purchase, you'll download it from um, the Theme Forest site and then you'll have to FTP it into your plugins folder. And then it will appear in your plugin section of your WordPress site and you just activate it exactly like I did. So um, now we go to our widget area. I go to my default sidebar here and as you remembered, my first widget was a, um, an Instagram feed. So I go to there and now I scroll down and now you'll see I have this new widget ninja options. So um, this works a little bit differently. It works on a set of conditions. So instead of creating a sidebar and copying over the widgets you want, it kind of works with your existing widgets and what you want to appear on which pages or, or there's a lot of options. So um, for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a condition only if it's in the category of health. 
and I'll save it there. And remember to also save the widget down here. So now I go back to my home page. And now that Instagram feed is not appearing on the right hand side of this page. But if I go into the category of health, there's my Instagram feed. So those are the two options I have for when you want to change your sidebar of your website. So I hope this is helpful for you and hope to see you next week. Thanks.